feel like I'm entering PETA level of discourse. Corey Carson, anti-vegan, enslaving tiny submarines. How do you handle non-vegan messages in the media your kids consume? Do you restrict which movies slash shows they can watch? Yes and no. So I figured I would talk about that. I'll talk about some of the popular stuff that my kids watch, as well as, in our opinion, the worst kid show when it comes to animal exploitation. First, for those who don't know, I have a four, oh, close to five-year-old, how did that happen? Mm -hmm. And a little two and a half-year-old. So both of my kids are relatively young still. And number two, we are not anti-screen time. This is one of the areas that I very much disagree with the Academy of Pediatrics and some other organizations as well that just categorize screen time as screen time, which what does that even mean? I brush my four-year-old's teeth using a little app that shows a picture and plays a song and stuff. Is that screen time? Point is, it's a lot more complicated than that. There are some good articles I'll link to in the description, but we are certainly not anti-screen time. We don't follow the what is it, zero screen time until two years old or something like that? No, no, no. <laughs> my kids have been watching TV. Uh, my four-year-old now plays some like educational games on the computer, which they really like. We got them a special little kid's keyboard and a little kid's mouse. It's so cute. They also play video games. They are very good at Kirby and Yoshi's Crafted World, Mario Odyssey. They're even good at moving the camera around and everything. What? Again, it's a more complex issue than just screen time is bad or limit your screen time to an hour a day or whatever. Again, check out those articles if you're interested. But point is, we do allow the kids to watch TV and whatnot. And we also use YouTube as well. I would say most of the stuff they watch is on YouTube. We use the autoplay feature even. <gasps> I know, we're just the worst parents. They watch stuff on Hulu a little bit, Steven Universe and Adventure Time, Doc McStuffins, is that on there? I don't know, I get them all confused. We have Disney Plus, they watch a couple things on there, and uh, Netflix too. We got it all. That's not true. What is there? Peacock? Whatever, and like, I don't know. I guess most of the stuff we don't have actually. <laughs> so the most common, I guess, animal exploitation kind of video or song that we see on YouTube would be Old MacDonald Had a Farm, right? Pretty much every channel, super simple songs. Pink Fong, we don't watch Pink Fong because that stuff is just, no. The lyrics, the not rhyming, the, I can't, no, can't, no. For those who don't know, Pink Fong is the channel that created Baby Shark, so yeah. So yeah, it's your typical, look at the animals, they're so happy living in these tiny enclosures on a farm. It just feels like propaganda to me. It feels like, what's the, wasn't there a cheese company that had like the happy cow logo or whatever? Ugh, I just don't like it, especially since it's like geared towards kids. That said, I don't think the channels doing these songs, like that's their intention, right? They're using this song because it's free to use. It's in the public domain. It's very, very popular, obviously. These videos have like millions of views and these people mostly aren't very creative and they're just copying everyone else and seeing what works, right? There are a couple examples of like well done kids content and even they do, you know, old McDonald, but for the most part, it's, it's all the same shit. They're also not like slaughtering the animals and eating them in the video or anything like that. It's fairly inoffensive, I guess, but still it makes me feel pretty icky. So usually I'll skip it if I'm not too lazy to get up and get the remote. <laughs> Just being honest, two and a half year old doesn't really understand any of this stuff yet, but uh, my four year old does to some degree. But when it comes to animals being on a farm, like they know that there are farm animals. I've heard them talk about cows being on a farm, but I don't think they quite understand what that means. I think they just think that's where cows live. <laughs> a lot of animals live there. A lot of animals live on a farm? Why? Why do they, what do they do on the farm? Uh. They just live there? Forever. They what? They stay there. They stay there and live there and they're happy there? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. One of my kids' favorite channels is Baby Bus. Really, my two and a half year old loves Baby Bus. They love Kiki and Mew Mew. I hate that I know their names, but that's their names. We actually got them a little stuffed panda because of this damn channel and they won't put it down. That's not true. They will, but they announce it like I'm putting panda here 
Just letting you know. They're like totally handicapped with almost everything they do now because they've got this stupid panda in the crook of their arm. I actually ordered a damn replacement because I'm so paranoid that thing's gonna get destroyed or lost and then what happens? I don't know. I don't want to find out. Baby bus is mostly fine. I don't know if they have an old McDonald. They mostly have their own songs with, again, like not great lyrics. I believe it's a, it's a Chinese channel. And yeah, some of the, some of the, the wording is a little bit off, a little bit Chinglish, I guess you could say. But yeah, mostly it's like their own words to a public domain melody. Mary had a little lamb or something like that, but the words are different, that sort of thing. I think there's one episode where one of them has a sheep that they're getting sheared. Uh, I can imagine a situation where you have a, a backyard sheep, I guess. <laughs> probably cruel. You probably don't have enough room for a sheep, but if you did, had a lot of land for the sheep to be happy on and shearing them, probably wouldn't be problematic. So we can pretend it's that. But the thing I really want to talk about is that like sometimes they anthropomorphize the food, like the burgers, and they talk and stuff, and sometimes they dance. That's actually my favorite thing about all of these different kids channels, like the non-good ones. Like Super Simple Songs is actually good. Pancake Manor, the best. Nothing beats it. The other ones that are just putting out as much shit as possible. Often you can tell they find some sort of asset like you see in like chintzy video games, right? And they'll apply it to something where it doesn't quite work. Like there was one we were watching the other day where the kids were like dancing, but the moves were like almost more like a, a sexy like belly dancing thing, but they had like a kid, a kid doing it. YouTube is fun. You never know what you're gonna get. Usually whenever they're talking about meat, it's in the context of like the T-Rex. The T-Rex eats meat, which like, yeah, true. Now there are at least a couple little episodes where the characters, the pandas, and there's like a whiskers, I think he's a mouse or something, and they're eating like obviously fish, like a whole fish. Again, my two and a half year old, not really gonna notice that, but my four year old definitely does and comments on it. Mommy, they're eating fish, that's not nice, that sort of thing. And there's one where I think they were in a supermarket, the pandas, and they're buying milk, and it's like a little carton with a picture of a cow on it. Again, four-year-old noticed, but this time instead of just being like, oh, that's bad, they were like, they seemed kind of confused and they brought it up to me like, they're drinking the milk from a cow. That's not good. And I was like, yeah, that's not a, that's not a nice thing to do. Silent musing. And then, oh, well, the cow said it was okay. The, the cow said it was okay. So it's nice to do. And I was like, well, okay, but how do we know the cow said it was okay? We didn't, we didn't see the cow. The cow's not in the show. We didn't talk to the cow. More silent musing. And then, oh, well, it's just a show. It's just a cartoon. Touche. Then we have Blippi, of course. My older one used to love Blippi. They've kind of grown out of them. Uh, my younger one is now all of a sudden getting very interested. Most of the stuff is not food related. I would say most of the stuff he's going to, like the little jungle gym stuff, which is my kid's favorite thing anyway, when he's just going down the slides and going through the tubes and all that shit, playing with the toys, you know, acting like a toddler so weird. There is one where he goes to a farm. They love to eat food, just like me and you. So then they can lay their eggs. So then you and I can eat them. They're so nice. I remember one, he was saying that it's, it's healthy to eat fish. Something it was really, really quick. I think he was in a kid's museum. And of course my kid's like, um, excuse me? No. But again, that's rare. Like most of the stuff is not food related. And when it is, it's like fruits and vegetables. You know, no, no one really wants to talk about eating animals. And that goes for pretty much every kid's YouTube channel. He does have a couple zoo videos, aquarium videos that, you know, presented as a really fun educational place, great place for animals, you know, not, not my favorite thing. We've seen those a couple times. Again, my kids aren't really into that. They mostly like the, hey, here I am at Tacoma, Washington at the kids play place that sort of thing. On Netflix, one of the only things we really watch is Corey Carson. My little one's not really interested, but my older one is. It is so cute. I love the style. The writing is really good. The dialogue is really good. It's just such a cute freaking show. They're obviously cars, and I don't know if there's ever any eating animals or anything. I, ha I haven't seen that. They make a cake in an episode. I remember that, and they eat like spaghetti. Now, in season five, they do randomly go fishing, but they catch like tiny submarines. I mean, seemingly Corey and the rest of the cars 
are like sentient. They're not being controlled by like their little, their little people cars. They get married, they have babies. So presumably these little tiny submarine fish are like sentient. I feel like I'm entering PETA level of discourse. Corey Carson, anti-vegan enslaving tiny submarines. Steven Universe, he eats some like hot dogs, but like it's Steven Universe, I do not, I do not care. He could actively say in an episode that he hates vegans and I'd be like, eh, I get it. And now for the worst show that we've seen, a show that the kids like, unfortunately. It's Mickey Mouse, specifically Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. It's the Mickey Mouse Clubhouse. Come inside, it's fun inside. Is that not the laziest shit you've ever heard? Come inside, it's fun inside. I accept it from some random channel on YouTube, but like Mickey Mouse, really? A Disney property? Not only a Disney property, but Mickey Mouse, and that's the best you can do? <laughs> no. Despite the characters being various kinds, of animals. They're like constantly eating hot dogs and hamburgers. I guess we could imagine that the hot dogs and the hamburgers are veggie dogs and veggie burgers, except there's a farm with cows and pigs, cows that are different from Daisy, like a more evolved cow, I guess. What the fuck? Oh, and they also love just whole roasted chicken and turkey. Awesome. Plus Mickey Mouse is just awful. All of these characters are just awful. Their voices are so annoying. I get that a lot of people in my age like Goofy because the Goofy movie, but no. I would rather watch a million of these cheapy, weird cartoons on YouTube than even one episode of this trash. So that's it. That's my answer, I guess. Do we let them watch non-vegan stuff? Yes, but some stuff we do is like, no, mostly just for me because I don't want to see it. I don't want to see Blippi at a zoo talking about the tigers and shit. It's just depressing. And when it's cartoons, you know, I think, I think my four-year-old had the best answer. It's a cartoon. Thank you so much for watching. I would love to know from any other vegan parents, parents raising vegan kids, how you feel about media in general and non-vegan stuff. And if you limit it or if you just like whatever, you know, you can explain it while you're watching it with them, that sort of thing. I would love to know. If you like the video, consider liking it, consider subscribing, consider hitting the bell so you can be notified every time I upload. You can also support the channel, patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. I'm about to upload an exclusive video there for $5 plus patrons. Yeah, thanks again. I'll have a new video very soon. Fun little side note, there's a new Blippi. We just noticed this the other day and he does a really good job imitating the original Blippi. Uh, my kid was not too into that. They could tell that something was wrong. <laughs> so we went to another video, but I looked it up and it turns out that it's the guy they were using for the, the Blippi tour because the original Blippi, I think his name is Seth or something, didn't actually do the tour, they hired out. And so now they're using this guy to make some of the Blippi videos on YouTube. And apparently parents are not happy about this. <laughs> they want the real, quote unquote, real <laughs> Blippi. What, like, what, what? Again, my kid was like, uh, like something's wrong. I don't like this, but I don't know from the parents point, like if, if my kid wants to watch that Blippi, why would I care? And why would I, like the real Blippi, Blippi's not real, he's a character. And obviously this guy can't do it forever. I always think back to uh, Blue's Clues, the original Steve from Blue's Clues. And obviously he stopped doing it as he started bawling and getting older. Cause he was like, I can't just do this forever. It's it's kind of weird, you know, we gotta have a new person for Blue to, to interact with. So yeah, I think about that here too. Like what, this guy's just gonna be Blippi till he's 70 years old, what?